today's topic is wireless earbud reviews and I'm going to review the Soundcore Liberty 4 NC. Let's go. Okay, let's start our Liberty 4 NC review. And uh, Soundcore, as you already know, is the brand that uh, made me fall in love for wireless earbuds. Given that their offering was based on excellent quality price relationship products. But as you already know, in my opinion, uh, in the last year especially, they were um, outperformed by Soundbeats in the quality price relationship department, okay? Nevertheless, today is about Soundcore, so let's go ahead and review the Liberty 4 NC. So let's start our preliminary analysis to the specifications of these. So first, uh, regarding drivers, this is a single dynamic 11mm driver, okay? Uh, I'm assuming it has a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz in terms of frequency reproduction, uh, although I wasn't able to officially confirm these values. Uh, but assuming they are, this is the standard uh, human hearing spectrum coverage. Okay, Bluetooth 5.3, the latest version, it's always a good thing. Codecs, SBC, AAC and LDAC. So SBC and AAC, it's the standard combo uh, in which AAC is the superior one. LDAC is a high resolution codec and it's the best of the three in terms of sound quality. Touch controls, nothing new, okay? Standard operation. Uh, here, is the, here is the touch sensor, okay? Very easy to operate, in fact. A very uh, nice surface area, very easy to find. Battery life, 10 hours on the earbuds plus 40 hours on the case, which gives us a total of 50 hours. In terms of wireless earbuds, this is top of the line battery life. Excellent battery life. Uh, to compare, the average values are 6 hours in the earbuds, this has 10, and 25 hours in the case, this has 40. Charging. They do have fast charging, very strong fast charging. 10 minutes will give you 4 hours of battery life. This is double the average uh, fast charging, uh, which will give you two hours for 10 minutes of charge. They charge via USB-C and they do have wireless charging as well. Okay, so very nice. Gaming mode, they do have the mysterious low latency gaming mode, uh, probably at the cost of sound quality or extra battery consumption, as you already know. Multi-point support, they do support up to two devices connected at the same time, but only with SBC or AAC codecs. So LDAC doesn't work with multi-point. So you know my recommendation on this. If you do like sound, prefer the LDAC to the multi-point feature. IP protection, this is uh, IPX4 protection, so standard protection. You can train with them, you can run with them as long as you don't uh, submerge them or soak them in water. Okay, you will be just fine. In ear detection, they do have in ear detection. Okay, it's this sensor over here and it works pretty well. Finally, mono mode, they don't have it. So, again, I don't know why, but all Soundcore earbuds that I have reviewed, neither one of them support mono mode they do all support including this one single earbud usage so i can do this i can use only the left earbud and leave the right one in the case to charge but i will only have the left channel transmitted to here and not both of them so it won't do a stereo down mix from both left and right channels down to a single left channel so that i don't lose any audio information so soundcore please 
fix this and give us true mono mode in all of your earbuds. It's about time. And that wraps up our uh, specification rundown and preliminary analysis. Now let's move on to the proper review. And we'll start off with sound quality, which in this case, it's a seven out of 10, which for a medium high segment in which these are in, it's a very good sound quality. So I'm very happy with the sound quality on these. I do think they are perfectly capable for any kind of music, okay? All the frequency ranges very well defined and balanced, uh, maybe with the exception of the treble, which uh, like the Liberty 3 Pros are slightly sibilant, but easily correctable in the app EQ, okay? So no problems whatsoever. But basically, uh, Soundcore has returned to form in terms of sound, unlike the disaster, which for me was the Liberty 4s. In terms of sound quality, these are very, very good in sound quality. Comfort. It's an 8 out of 10, okay. Very good. In my case, they do fit like a glove. You can train with them, you can run with them. Actually, they might even be an option for side sleeping. In my case, it wasn't, but uh, they don't protrude all that much from the ear, so you could give it a shot eventually. It could work. Excellent comfort. Uh, the only thing I have to say here regarding comfort is the, the opening button on the case, which, which annoys me because this is a very good case, okay? I like the case very much. Very comfortable, very pocketable. Unfortunately, the button uh, is positioned in a way that when you press it, if you don't press just uh, if you don't press just the down portion of the button, you will actually stop the case from opening. Okay, because my finger is on top of it, so it won't open. Okay, so I have to open by pressing just the down portion of the button, or it won't open. Okay, so. Uh, kind of a design flaw there, but I'm really nitpicking here, okay? 8 out of 10, excellent comfort. Next aspect, volume. 9 out of 10, excellent volume. More than loud enough. More than loud enough. So, another aspect which was corrected from the Liberty Force, which for me had a volume below my expectations. I think it was a 7 out of 10. These... Uh, are right back to uh, pure sound core form okay so excellent sound excellent volume nine out of ten more than enough okay just be careful not to put them too high or they will damage your ears next aspect battery life nine out of ten exceptional battery life as we already saw okay so 10 hours on the earbuds 40 hours on the case, total of 50 hours, way above average, excellent battery life. Next aspect, ANC. 8 out of 10, excellent ANC on these. I was really surprised by that, okay? Although they do say Liberty 4 NC and the NC stands for noise cancelling, uh, I wasn't expecting them to deliver better ANC than on the Liberty 4s. And in my opinion, they do. And they are cheaper, okay? So they are medium to high range. The Liberty 4 supposedly would be the flagship. For me, the flagship is still the Liberty 3 Pros. But these do an awesome job on the ANC front, okay? In my opinion, they do eliminate very well uh, little ambient noises and they do make loud environments extremely comfortable okay so well done soundcore on delivering really great anc for the price next aspect ear tip replacements two out of ten very bad okay i was hoping these would be the perfect comeback buds for soundcore they almost were Okay, so this clearly is the biggest problem of these earbuds is the ear tips and the ear tip replacement. Okay, so they do start off as looking like regular oval shaped earbuds, but unfortunately, watch this. See that? 
This is a proprietary earbud connector, okay? So this is like a rectangular shape, okay? It's not oval. And they do have this, these little connectors over here. I don't know if you can see them, but this is a proprietary design, okay? From my understanding, there is no one else doing these kinds of ear tips other than Soundcore, okay? So they are oval on the outside, but um, rectangular slash square on the inside, which unfortunately makes them extremely hard to replace the ear tips, which will actually make the useful lifespan on these shorter than usual. Unfortunately, I've tried to adapt several uh, third party ear tips that, that I have lying around, round ear tips, uh, shallow ear tips, oval ear tips, none of them worked, okay? so. Uh, your only bet is Soundcore ear tips and they will eventually stop manufacturing these, okay, unfortunately. Uh, if you do by any chance know of any third party that does sell ear tips compatible with the Liberty 4 NCs, please do let me know in the comments. I don't know any that does, but if you do, please let me know. Very bad in ear tip replacement, unfortunately. That's the way it is. Next aspect, personalized EQ, 7 out of 10. So here back to Soundcore app goodness, okay? Very good, lots of presets, 8-band EQ, uh, like the Liberty 3 Pros and the Liberty 4s, well distributed along the frequency range, although they are fixed frequencies, okay? Uh, the only downside for me really is they don't allow to control the sub-bass frequencies below 60 Hz, okay? So, um, for instance, Soundpeats does allow you to control, I think they are, they have two frequency bands just for the sub bass frequencies, okay? And it's a 10 band EQ, so Soundcore, please give us the ability to control sub bass frequencies as well, at least one. Next aspect, uh, usability and range of the controls, it's a 9 out of 10, excellent, excellent. You can control everything with these uh, or almost everything with these without the app. The controls are uh, reactive and flawless, okay? Um, another excellent implementation from Soundcore in the control department, okay? Next aspect, Hi-Res Codex, another 9 out of 10. They do have the LDAC codec, which is the best um, high resolution or high definition codec at the moment, in my opinion, of course. Next aspect, multi-point connectivity, seven out of 10, okay. Um, very good, up to two devices simultaneously, the current standard. So basically these work just as well as the previous Liberty 3 Pros and Liberty 4s, okay. Which means that they also have the same issue uh, that is uh, transitioning between connected devices is not as instantaneous as with other competitors such as Soundpeats, which I do think has a better implementation on this, okay? It's not too slow, but it does take a couple of seconds to switch from device A to device B. Another downside, you cannot use them with the LDAC codec. You can only use them with AAC or SPC, okay? I think uh, the only one I know that supports LDAC with multipoint is the, the Technics AZ60, if I'm not mistaken, okay? From those that I've reviewed, of course. And of course, you already know my advice to this. If you do like sound, turn off multipoint, enjoy the LDAC. Next aspect, gaming mode. Another 7 out of 10, okay, it does support it. From my perception, I haven't noticed any latency whatsoever, but remember in this case, I don't perform any kind of high level analytical uh, test to measure milliseconds and stuff. I just do my personal perception test, which in this case for me makes uh, more sense. Uh, two downsides here. So uh, the first one, it almost certainly will sacrifice audio quality or battery life or both. And the second disadvantage, you can only use it uh, without the LDAC codec. So only SBC or AAC. 
uh, another note here for Soundcore. Um, they really should see how other uh, players are doing it, such as Soundpits, for example, because here you are forced to turn off the LDAC codec first. Only then will you have the option to enter the gaming mode, okay? Um, in reality, for a better user experience, you could have this done automatically for you. Okay. If I'm using my Soundpeats Engine 4, which do support LDAC, and I'm using the LDAC codec, when I activate the gaming mode, they will automatically switch to AAC codec. And when I switch off the gaming mode, they will resume the LDAC codec. Okay, So that's a much better implementation in terms of user experience, in my opinion. Okay, So Soundcore, uh, a little bit of polish here would also be nice. Next aspect, um, control customization, 9 out of 10, absolutely fantastic, okay? But this is, again, sound core goodness, okay? Uh, it allows you to control everything on these, single click, double click, triple click, and hold. You can assign any function to any of these, and the hold customization is back, because if you remember, the Liberty Force didn't have the hold customization, okay? The hold command was not available. Next aspect, fast charging, nine out of 10. Excellent fast charging, way above average. 10 minutes will give you four hours of battery life. So that's double the current standard of 10 minutes uh, equal to two hours of battery life. Excellent. Next aspect, find my earbuds. Here, it's only a six out of 10 because they do support find my earbuds, but they only support the sound beeping implementation. They don't support the GPS coordinate implementation, okay? So um, if these are still connected to your uh, mobile device, you can go to the Soundpeats app and have the app instruct these to start beeping, okay? So that you can find them like uh, under a table or uh, on, the, on the couch or under a pillow or stuff like that, okay? Again, I do think the sound on the beeping is really low, very hard to hear. And I also think that manufacturers should start adding a second tiny um, speaker to this uh, aspect alone, okay? But that's just my opinion. In terms of saving the last GPS coordinate, these don't support that functionality, so that's why they only have a six out of 10 in this aspect. Next aspect, in-ear detection. It's an eight out of 10. It works flawlessly, okay, perfectly fine. Uh, here is the sensor once again, okay? In-ear sensor. It works perfectly fine, so you take it out of the ear, it pauses what you are listening to, you put it on the ear again, it resumes playback. Perfectly fine without any issues that I have noticed. Final aspect on the listening score, wireless charging. It's an 8 out of 10, it works perfectly fine without any problems, and they do also support this visual indicator here. And this is also, this button is also the Bluetooth pairing button, okay? So this actually has a double function to open the case and to serve as the pairing button, okay? Which is kind of a cool feature. And that's it for the audio front. Now let's go on to the microphone score, okay? And if you remember uh, from the Liberty Force, those buds had the biggest microphone score of my rankings, okay? excellent microphone on the Liberty Fours. So I'm curious to see how this medium to high range uh, earbuds perform on that department. And the answer is eight out of 10, excellent microphone. So I was pleasantly surprised that Soundcore didn't cheap out on the microphone on these as well. So excellent overall package, excellent sound for the medium to high uh, range and excellent microphone, excellent overall package, especially for the promotional price, okay? If you can get it, we'll talk price in a bit. But getting back to the microphone, very good call quality. It works very well on all the environments I have tested it. So controlled environment, wind environment and background noise environment. Remember that you have a link 
to the microphone test video on these in the video description. So go check it out and take your own conclusions. But for me, these are excellent sounding microphones. Eight out of 10, well done Soundcore. My recommendation and final score. So on the listening front, the Soundcore Liberty 4NC have a total score of 7.44 out of 10, which is excellent. Very good listening score on these, okay? I do believe these rank high on my rankings list, okay? The microphone, we've already talked about it, excellent microphone as well, which means this is an excellent overall package, very well balanced package, okay? Excellent audio quality, excellent microphone quality. In terms of quality price relationship, they usually go for 90 euros, okay? And at that price, I do think there are better options. For example, the Liberty 3 Pros, usually you can get them for around 91 euros on promotion. So if you are uh, thinking of spending 90 euros, spend one euro extra and go for the Liberty 3 Pros, which are the real Soundcore flagship, even today. But with a promotion, you can get these for 65 euros which was how much I've paid for them with my own money, okay? So for 65 euros, these are excellent. So my final thoughts on these. Excellent earbuds, excellent overall package, sound plus microphone. Um, the only disadvantage I have with these is the ear tip replacement that are so hard to replace which can reduce the useful life of your device. Nevertheless, if that's not a big disadvantage to you and you can get them at the 65 euro promotion price, I do think these are totally, totally worth it. So excellent rebound from the Liberty Force, excellent product sound core. Now go ahead and give us the true successor to the Liberty 3 Pros, the Liberty 4 Pros. For these, excellent quality price relationship. That's it. And that's it. I hope this was useful to you. Please leave your feedback and share your ideas and opinions in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date with the next videos, subscribe the channel and click the like button. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.